Hello everybody. Welcome back to the fish room. This is Andrew Perkowski checking in. This is going to be my summer 2018 fish room tour update video. It's been a lot of changes in here. Added a whole other rack. Moved my tequilas to a 40. There's a lot of breeding in here. Everything's doing so well. I'm really happy. So we'll start off this video. Um, this is my Zoganeticus tequila, Rio Teochitlan tank. The tequilas are actually probably my favorite fish in the fish room, so I'm glad that I got to start this video out with them. There's a male right there and a pregnant female. If I can get them in focus. There we go. That's a little bit better. There's a pretty large group. You can see all my fry are in here. There's at least 50 of them in here which I think is just phenomenal. But a beautiful little fish. Zoogeneticus tequila, Rio Teochilan. <clears throat> Come down here, and this is Scythia multipunctata. Uh, this is the Tongan Sikro location. You can see some pregnant females, a male with the spotting. There are fry in this tank. Most of it is full of guppy grass though. You can see this female right up front. She is ready to drop any, any day now. My male has some nice spotting. There's another male in here somewhere. And right next to them, this is where I have my Scyphia multipunctata Lago de Camiquero. And this group has been pretty prolific so far. See, there's a male up there, female with a gravid spot. But you can see, there's a bunch of fry in here. Right there in that shot, I think that's six, or six fry. <laughs> Wonderful. Scythia multipunctata, Lago de Camaguero. Over here, this is Scythia francese. The location on these guys is, um, it's also Rio Teochilan in focus. Beautiful little fish. I recently posted an update video about them. Here's my really pretty male. This is also known as the golden skiffia. Extinct in the wild. Another beautiful Gideon species. Over here, this is uh, Krakenon lateralis, Los Barros. You can see there's a male. This is a female right here. Yeah, like a nice shot of her side. Wonderful, wonderful. This Molly that's in here, um, she's just acting as a dither to get everyone to come out. But one of the main attractions in here is this gorgeous red Ludwigia that is just filling up the tank. So I'm hoping that when the lateralis actually drop fry, they will end up in there and they'll be safe. But Kraken on lateralis, Los Barros. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. All right, in here, this is Xenotoka Eisenai. This is the true Eisenai, Rio Compostela. Female, female. The male has a little bit of an orange tail. I have two pairs. That's a pink flamingo crypt right there, some nymphoides, and some water wisteria to the back. Beautiful stuff. Over here, I have Crinictes balei. This is the Moape. I picked these up at the from the North American Gideon Working Group, um, their auction before the ALA convention. I have two males. Very beautiful fish. White River Springfish, beautiful, Crinictes balei. All right, on to the next. Over here, this is a quarantine tank. This is actually where I'm gonna be moving my Zoganeticus porpechus at some point in time soon once it fills in a little bit better. In the meantime, I do have some bristle nose. They're probably hiding underneath that wood. 
over here. This is my Heterandria Formosa tank. They are exceptionally good at hiding. Most of the time you can find them back in here. They are somewhere. Oh, there's one. See? One of the smallest fish in the world. Beautiful. Over here in this tank, this is a one gallon holding jar that I actually have Flictis quadrupunctatus. There's two males. And then there's also a male Xiphophorus ebulinae rio nacoxa. That's a Pueblo platy. Somewhat difficult to get a nice shot of them with the curvature of the of the jar. But that's a beautiful, beautiful set of fish. I only have the males for each of them though. Alright. And up here. This is where I have my Iliadon whiteii. See, there's a very large female. The males are smaller. And also my green swords. That's um, Xiphophorus helleri. Common name for the Iliadon whiteii is also the Balsus split fin, in reference to the drainage that they're found in. You can see the sword tails have beautiful spotting. The whiteii look so healthy, so huge. Look at that one. Wonderful, wonderful. Over here, this is where I have my Xiphophorus variatus. Uh, this is the red tailed black platy. I also have a number of Chapelictes and Costas. This is the Lago Orandino location. When these guys get a little bit bigger, they're going to have to go into a larger tank as they'll get like three and a half inches. I've also heard they can be pretty prolific, so they will outpace this, but in the meantime, they are living with my Variatus platys, and they are just beautiful. I love this group. This tank, as always, has the Amazon sword and the dwarf Sagittaria hedge. Beautiful stuff. Down here, next to them, this is Xiphophorus continens. These are also known as the short sword pygmy uh, platyfish. This is from the Elkinsa location. As you can see, they're pretty prolific. Males have a pronounced gonopodium, the females have a gravid spot. Nice lateral lines, good stuff. These guys have bred with just a whole bunch of guppy grass and duckweed on the surface. Beautiful fish. All right, oh man. See, this is a, a pretty active little guy. This is Aladon Tictis Tamazula. This is one of the bottom dwelling uh, or ground dwelling Gadeids. They're in the tribe Iliadontini. So one of their more closely related uh, relatives in this fish room would be my Iliadon Whiteii or the first ones that I'm about to show. This is Aladon Tictis Tamazula from Rio, Rio Tamazula. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. All right, we'll take a step back. Almost forgot to talk about these guys. Up here, this is Zogoneticus porpechus. So this is all the, this, this is the same genus as the tequila fish, but one of the different. The only species I'm missing is uh, Zogoneticus quitsioensis, but maybe at some point. These guys are gonna be moving out of here because I have my swarm of Alatokodigese. And thanks to my buddy Chris Neal for these. Oh man, if I can just get them in focus. All right. And you can see there's a nice number of them in here. They're doing wonderfully. I do have breeding. And that breeder full of fry. And get them to start moving. There. Beautiful little fish. But, they're going to need more room to roam. But, I love them. Love them. Just great. So, Alatoka Dugese, Rancho Molino, also known as the Bumblebee Gadea. Very cool. Very cool. There. In focus. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, the next tank here, this is my Lumia tank. I recently did a video about them. This is a beautiful fish. 
I have a lot of fry in here too. Come, come take a look up here. Just doing wonderfully. Big Rotala Indica, a Copa Monieri, a few different Crips up front, Cryptocorn on Gelato the back, and my Dwarf Filele. But Lamia species tiger, an undescribed species of Lamia from Lake Miragon in Haiti. All right, down here, this is Xenotoca melanosoma. And they're a little bit skittish. This is another group of fish that I got from my friend Chris Neal. Uh, shout out to the Freshwater Fish Preservation Aquarius team. You can find us on Facebook. But these guys are incredible. The location is uh, Rio Ayuquila. That's a nice big male right there. Females. I haven't gotten breeding yet, but I do have a nice group here. So hopefully with a little bit of time, I'll have some good numbers. But Xenotoca melanosoma, also known as the black idiot. The males will actually turn a lot deeper in color than you see with the females. But very cool fish, very cool fish. Over here, this is Atneobius tauri. There's another tank that's full of fry. We'll pop open the lid a little bit. The fry tend to hang out on this Nymphoides. Although I just opened the lid so they're hiding. There's one over there. I have a number of juveniles that are getting bigger and bolder swimming out. Atneobius tauri, Antiohitos. It's a very cool fish. I actually got these from Greg Sage. And I love them. They've proven to be quite prolific. Only plants in here really is just Nymphoides. Although there is some random guppy grass that seems to have gotten in. <laughs> of course. Over here, this is another type of uh, Xiphophorus variatus that I have. It's called the Marigold variatus. There's a nice female right there with the gravid spot. But also, Gadeid in here as well. This is Xenotoca variata, also known as the jeweled Gadeid. You can see it's got some nice, nice shimmer on its scales. Very cool fish. These are still growing out, although you can tell male and female. There's a male right in the center. So I'm excited to see how they're gonna do. I've always loved this tank. A nice big chunk of Dwarf Sagittaria, Sagittaria sibulata, and my Crips finally getting over the hair algae issue that I had, so very excited for them to, <laughs> to be doing much better. All right, this tank here, this is Xenotoca duadrioi, another one of the red tail Gideids. This used to be classified with the eyes and eye that I showed earlier, but was recently redescribed as its own distinct species. I do a fry in here as well. Let's swim up the glass there. And they're pretty bold. I love these guys. There's some uh, Bacopa caroliniana over there. And again, I, dro I grow this dwarf Sagittaria all over the place. You can see these guys are extremely active. Love it, just love it. Beautiful little fish. Xenotoga duadrio, San Marcos. All right, up here, this is Neotoca bilineata. It used to be classified in the same genus as Scyphia when it was being referred to as the two-line Scyphia. There's a male right there, beautiful, beautiful. They're known for getting that black on the tail, or on the, the dorsal and anal fin. I think that's a female right there. Or no, that could be another male. Yeah, that's another male. Probably the beta. I have a number of juveniles. No location on these guys, but I still love them. This is a five gallon tank, and they're doing just spectacular. So, Neotoca bilineata. Awesome, awesome. And then last but not least, this is my Amica Splendens. also known as the Butterfly Gideid. I have a nice 
mature male in here somewhere. Oh, here he is. Here he is. I have gotten fry in here, but most of my fish are still too young. But there he is. Amica splendens, Rio Teochilan. Formerly extinct in the wild, rediscovered in a large pool in El Rincon. There's tons of them there. Doesn't take away from the fact that this is still a, an incredibly beautiful fish. Everyone I know that keeps Gideads that's had Amica splendens has said it's one of their favorites. So, he's incredible. And that just about does it for me in the fish room. As you can see, there's lots of stuff that was going on. So many things doing well, lots of fry. I just love it. If you guys like what I'm doing, hit like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to post more updates in the future. Thanks for watching.